Hey guys, Darren here with another box review. This time I'm reviewing a box of 1993-94 Upper Deck Basketball Series 1 Hobby. And this is the card back. The, the Michael Jordan was the card back for the Series 1 boxes, both Hobby and Retail, and then it was Bobby Hurley for Series 2. These are Upper Deck boxes, and so that means there's nothing on the inside. It's just the really great card back cover on the back, which is basically this relative size between them so this was a this is one of those sets i've had since basically 1994 and not really a need to go into it but i was i was curious of what it'd be like and it's, it's great clickbait unfortunately it's a 100 hundred dollar box so this was one of those where you just kind of got to grit your teeth and say okay i i guess i'll do it and in that regard it is kind of kind of cool to be able to do it uh get get the feel for it but it would a lot, be a lot harder to to justify if it weren't for the fact that these cards are just so gorgeous i mean they really are this was when upper deck finally started making phenomenal card sets and this was across all the sports these cards all came out great even with the different designs now in terms of myself i have this this whole set i have series one series two i have all the inserts with the exception of one so here in these packs they have triple double cards and they also have michael jordan uh flight team cards and the flight team cards is the one thing i'm not done with i have about half of the set so i i was excited to get one of those cards and I did, so I, I ended up with two of the, the triple-double cards. This is the, the Sir Chuck. Ramil Robinson's the other one. And these cards are, they, they have a hologram with like two pictures. And then a gorgeous, the colors are just gorgeous on this card. Now the hologram's not very good, but otherwise the card's fantastic. Now these are 30, uh, one, one card in every 30 packs. So they're, you're probably just going to get one. There's a possibility you get two. I got two. Also, one out of 30, every 30 packs is the Michael Jordan's flight team cards. And this, like I said, this was what I was really looking forward to. Unfortunately, I got stuck with a Clarence Weatherspoon card. And it's a shame because the cards are gorgeous, um, which, which is nice in, in and of itself. But this is a dirt cheap card. This is a card I could pick up for less than a dollar for uh, really easily. I already have. So I didn't need it, didn't want it. And that was, that was disappointing because my whole everything about my energy was built around this and when i got this it didn't it, it was a letdown so i was hoping there'd be a second one and the second to last pack i saw something similar but what i ended up finding was the sp card now the sp card this is a very rare card they did one sp card i think in every release 92 93 series one and then series two and then here sp number three for uh, 93 series one and then there's one for uh for um one more sp4 this is michael jordan's seventh straight scoring championship so it's got jordan on the front and then it's got wilt chamberlain on the back gorgeous gorgeous card so that was cool to get now there's a slight abrasion here there's a slight abrasion here so it's not it's not a perfect card it was cool to get uh, pretty rare so that was that was nice that rounded it out and it helped again a card i already had so i didn't need to worry about it but the problem with this box was the fact that the cards were basically bricked and when when you open up the pack you had all i mean obviously they're all jumbled around at the time but you would have by the binding was this card and then all of the subset cards were over on the other side and the first issue is you'd have some of the cards to be slid up kind of like this and when that would happen, they get damaged. The first and third packs I had had a Muggsy Bogues card with a really badly damaged corner. Third pack, same thing. In the second pack, I had I still had one of those cards swung way up, but it was a Michael Jordan card and it survived. So I was lucky on that. But that really wasn't the problem. The problem was the fact that these were bricks. And so you slowly have to peel them apart just very carefully and let them come apart as they want to. And they came apart in fine. They, very few of the cards got damaged with the exception of the card here. And this card and the next card would be facing each other, facing each other and you would slowly pull them apart and usually find out how bad the damage was. And that's where this really was a big issue was the fact that a lot of cards, and they were just the subset cards, but a lot of cards got damaged. So here you have Michael Jordan, and here, here you have Dennis Rodman. These are big swaths that are the, the whole, um, the binding here, 
where they crimped. The whole card got damaged down a ways. Then there are other cases where it's just a little seam. So right here, there's just a little seam that goes right down it, but still it's damaged. And there were some really good cards. You got Michael Jordan, the only Rodman uh, for me, one of the dreams, the only Shaq for me. You got Reggie Miller, you got Jordan, you got Reggie again, you got um, uh, KJ. And then you, you get, uh, here's a Shaq. And then here's what was tough. The only two Jordan um, signature moves cards had damage. Here there's a lot of abrasion. Here there's a real small amount. If I just needed to put this into a binder, I'd be okay with that because it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But it's Jordan, so you can't get away with it. I mean, right here in, in James Worthy, you're probably able to see it pretty r easily right down the, the middle. And so a lot of cards got damaged. Sometimes it was just the outer cards, sometimes the outer and the inner. But all the ones that were on this side, right up against this side, uh, had about a 50% chance of making it. And the front half, most of those cards survived. The back half, most of those were damaged. So it was a slow process because the first thing you got to do is you've got to take the cards and you've got to slowly peel them apart and it takes a while to do that and then you rotate the cards around and then you get the chance to actually see the cards and the cards are just exquisite cards now the the image and the name don't really go together too often so oftentimes i was going through the names and then looking at the pictures later but these are this is one of those few sets that is so amazing that you just want to spend forever staring at the cards they really do have that quality to them and I love that about this. It was such a fun trip. After you go through the process, every pack, you flip them around, start going through the cards. That's when it was always fun to go through. And in terms of the set, I actually got 50, 53 cards shy of the set. So 255 card set, I got 202 cards. I'm missing 53. Now some of those are these cards right here, like Michael Jordan. That's one of the cards that I have missing. But I would say there are about 40 cards that were not in the, in the set period. And these are the doubles. You can see the doubles and the set are about the same number. So the odds weren't all that great. What was really tough with, though was how many doubles there were. Because these are doubles. You know, this is the set and then I got a second, third, fourth uh, Muggsy Bogue. So I got four copies of Muggsy. And so, so you know, not, you're not getting the complete set, but you're getting a ton of doubles. And when that happens, they'd better be good. For me, they were. So I got a pair of KJs, I got four extra John Stocktons, so five total, and then I got three Michael Jordans. So the Michael Jordan card here, that was, that was a plus. There's a chance you could open up a box and not get a single one. In my case, I was lucky enough to get four total. So that was good. You got a Joe Dumars, you got a David Robinson. We got another four Clyde Drexlers, a Chris Mullen. And then of the subsets, I got a Jordan Steele, or a Jordan Scoring. I got three Jordan Steels. I got uh, two Dreams, um, Defense Player of the Year. Here's another Jordan, a Robinson, a Jordan, a KJ. Two more Jordans, a KJ, a Jordan. Um, Bulls team, um, Spurs team, and then a David Robinson. So in terms of doubles, that helped a lot. That was a, that was a good part to it, was the fact that you were seeing a lot of names that you want to see pop back up. And that was a fun aspect of it. But again, right now, as I'm doing this, these boxes run about a hundred bucks, which is insane because you don't have inserts that are worth enough to justify it. And it makes it a little bit difficult because if when you spend that kind of money, you're hoping for that one card. You need to get that one card. And for me personally, I needed to get a good one of these. I didn't. I got stuck with one I already have, don't want, is of no value. And that was, that was rough. And so this is a box where you've, you've got to go in saying it's not about the, the hit. It's about the beautiful cards. It's about the amazing cards. And if that's your mindset, this is going to be a fantastic experience because these are among the all-time great cards. There is, this was the height of what uh, Upper Deck was ever worthy of, uh, ever capable of doing, and they they succeeded in spades. So that is, to me, that is the greatest strength that this set has always had. I loved doing it back. Uh, 
25 to 30 years ago was when I did this. And sitting there today doing this was the same experience. It just had that same feeling to it. I was I had the, the cost out of my mind. I'd already gotten to the point where I was just here to open a box. And that, because of that, it was fun the whole time. Tedious, but fun. So overall, the uh, I wish that these cards the I wish the boxes were more financially success uh, accessible. They're not, so you got to basically uh, set it aside as that's something I'm going to do. And once you do that, it's great. But this is a card set I feel like everybody should have. I I I really don't. Um, it, it really if you're going to have one card set from the 90s, a 93 upper deck from any sport is is one of the first ones you need to start with. It really is. It's such a great set. Even if you just buy it as a complete set, that's fine. They're gorgeous. So yeah, that's my take. Thank you guys for watching.